dead man! Hey! Who the devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here! But this cab! I said get out of here! This is an outrage! Oh, quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. So where is the cop? The show. Victor shop. Deller. Stables. Maybe for Sam. Okay, I'm gonna meet up with Dutch. I can ride back to my horse. myself for you because I care I care but let me be clear I only care about those who care to read buy the book read the book do precisely what I say and Ooh, you'll be the man building railways opening factories you won't be riding the railway you'll be owning them There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If 
we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Archer, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. And definitely all guns. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Grave robbers, huh? Come on now, boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, 
I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Well, Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had a, I had a bit to drink. Friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Bastards are trying to draw us out. We sure picked the right knife for it. right here I can think of better ways to spend an evening next time you go and I'll have the drink you send them comments 
Damn, I don't even have my shotgun. How many are even left? All right. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Oh. Wrong way. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. We gotta lose them, Morgan. It's done. Oh no. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. I am um, stuck in here. Oh, that's not my horse. here god damn it why did it just jump the fence why did you jump the fence you goddamn horse run man run my horse is off his rocker. That's a fucking large bounty. Okay, where are we to get to here? You got a problem? Speak up. I'm definitely gonna deal with that bounty. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. 
Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even going to know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Let's get this done. Come on, Arthur. What are you doing? Let's go get Jack. Well... You took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. And where we are, we just sound good for him. He's going to sound good for sort of for we us. Have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. He has juice for us. I just All know right. it. He has Let's juice get for us. Boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa brought hey, it's good. me lots of Italian worms. I like spaghetti, so... Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, Definitely dad. I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. night then most enjoyable well the man's an intolerable blowhard but he stocks a fine bar how did you fellers get on any problems a whole heap of them we about doubled the population of that graveyard you know i thought i heard gunshots but the gramophone was playing <sighs> unbelievable each to their strengths arthur I, oh. Oops. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, 
Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. <laughs> hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? How about a song? Oh, oh, yeah. Out of the air, <laughs> play us away. Un par de ojitos negros, un cielito lindo de contrabando. De una sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Fine folks get reacquainted. Boys. Hello, Mr. Chow. I think my reg where is the regan for me? Oh that's inside. By the looks of it. Okay. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith.
Good to have you back too, Tilly. You've been rescuing people left and right. Well, it weren't just me. Yeah, I definitely need a bath. Should I go for a full shave or a partial? Go for a partial. I have to go into town for a bath. We wouldn't have got you if it weren't for her. Of course. I owe you both my life. Hey. Let's just hope all that business is behind you now. Oops, sorry, Jack. <laughs> I just got the look back from the kid. up here. Catch you later, then. All right, Arthur. Okay, got some sleep. And see you in the next video.